All right, today I wanna to talk you through the Facebook Marketplace in terms of how you can promote and market your listings using this free tool in the Facebook Marketplace, or mostly free, I got kind of two angles to this. I wanna teach you the basics up front, just using the Marketplace, which you might already be doing, but then I wanna go deep dive on a new feature that Facebook has rolled out inside the Ads Manager whereby I can retarget people who have been looking at my listings online. So let me dive into my Facebook account here. Uh, I'm on Facebook, you can see that I'm inside the marketplace. It's this one right here. I've got the home feed or the news feed, whatever you wanna call it, uh, Facebook Watch. And then I've got this marketplace here, which is a big feature, kind of a staple of Facebook and they're pushing it more and more. I don't know if you realize this, but if you scroll down to the categories, there's a whole section for home sales and it's, it's a combination of things. It could be uh, folks listing their own properties for sale, but oftentimes it's agents who are marketing listings on behalf of their sellers because of their representation agreement. And anyways, they put the listings in here and people can scroll through. But what I wanna point out to you is that once it's inside uh, the Facebook uh, marketplace, you would click open, here's one in Lachlan Springs, Nashville for about 800 grand. And I want you to notice, like, here's the standard call to action send a message and then so if you're the one if you're the agent and you're listing this property you're going to get a ba bing kind of a facebook message alert that somebody's checking in about this listing which is basically the equivalent of a sign call digitally it's a lead right it's somebody with whom you can have conversation about their interest in seeing that property or another property or what have you so first thing here is easy right use the facebook marketplace to market your listings the, your listings, not somebody else's listings. It's easy peasy, you click the plus symbol, you're gonna go create a marketplace listing right here. It pulls up a preview screen, you can add up the 10 photos, you can say it's public or private, you can list it to the marketplace. Uh, title, price, category, we're gonna choose homes, right? That I showed you before, it's gonna be somewhere down here, it's real estate or home sales, you'll figure it out, I'm not gonna go find it right now. Uh, you put your description, where is it gonna be located? Right now mine's centered on downtown Nashville. Uh, you can drop the location. Is it available as the standard message, right? Who's it coming from? It's coming from me if it's my listing. So you do that, but here's here's part two of this, right? So you, you do the marketplace listing, but I wanna show you something. If I switch screens here and I go into my Facebook ads manager. Now, if the Facebook ads manager is new to you, this training is not about getting into the Facebook ads manager at a basic level. I'm gonna kind of jump from a super basic thing, which is the marketplace to a far less basic thing. Here I am in the ads manager. You'll need a Facebook page to run ads. Simply go to this website, facebook.com slash ads manager, facebook.com slash ads manager, ads manager. And you're gonna say, wow, I've actually got an account. Wow, who knew it, right? And it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna create an ad and I am now inside the ads manager, literally creating an ad. And there are three sections to it. There's this campaign level, the ad set level and the ad level. It's kind of like our table of contents. Uh, the campaign is simply choosing an objective. It says, choose your objective. First things first, I've got to declare that this is gonna be a housing ad. Uh, this is for the special ad category here in North America. Got to declare it. Uh, and then I've got to choose my actual, what's my marketing objective? And I'm gonna suggest traffic. Now I'm gonna tell you, the thing I'm gonna show you is gonna be dependent upon the objective you choose. Traffic is one such objective you can use, but traffic means, I wanna drive people who see my ad in Facebook or, or wherever they might see the ad. I want them to click a link and go to my website, a landing page, something like that. So I choose traffic. They're gonna to drive to my website. I'm gonna scroll down. I can name it. I'm not gonna do an A-B test. I'm not gonna worry about campaign budget optimization. Leave it off. Cause I'm only gonna run, don't, don't even worry about that. Click continue. And then we get down to the ad set level, which is basically where I'm gonna tell Facebook, this is who I wanna target. This is what I wanna to pay to target who I wanna target. It's basically the audience creation, right? So I declared my objective. It's a housing ad and I want traffic to some website yet to be named, but I want traffic. And now I can choose, okay, it is indeed going to a website. I could name the ad set. It's giving me some estimates over here. Uh, scroll on down and I see custom audiences. Now I'm not gonna get super granular, uh, I could get into location, whatever. I don't need to do that right now. I just wanna point out to you this audience feature, custom audience, which is basically to say retargeting. Uh, custom audience means they've engaged on some level. So I could click create new custom audience and here are the ways by which I can re-engage. That is by which I can remarket. They've been on my website and I have a pixel installed. Uh, I have a customer list. I can literally upload an Excel file, a CSV file of my database. 
they've watched these ones down here are called engagement audiences. They've watched or interacted with my videos or certain videos, my Instagram account, uh, events that I've put on, uh, my Facebook page, uh, instant experience. We're not going to get into that lead form, not that, not that. But this one, this one's new marketplace listings. This is a relatively new feature whereby I can create an audience of people who interacted with my listings or a particular listing on Marketplace and then re-engage them with more listings that are like the one I showed them that they might like or videos or testimonials or bottom line, I can re-engage them even if they didn't message me, but they looked at my listing on Facebook Marketplace, I can build that engagement audience and then start targeting, targeting them with ads. So thought I'd share that little tip with you. I'm not even gonna go the rest of the way through the ads manager, this is the point. Facebook Marketplace for your listings. I love the send message feature. It's a free no-brainer. And number two is don't stop there. Remarket folks with more ads that drive them to your website or to a subsequent call to action whereby they choose you as their agent. Hope it helps. Never stop marketing. Crush it in your business. Thanks very much.